Foreign airlines repatriate $4 billion in 15 months as it becomes more expensive to fly from Nigeria to other West African countries. We'll be taking a look at this on The Breakfast as our first hot topic. Federal government and states open talks on minimum wage review as organized labor insists on pay raise to cushion the effects of petrol subsidy removal. And that's our second hot topic this morning on The Breakfast. We'll also be taking a look at the stories that made it to the front pages of some national dailies this morning on Off the Press. Our analysts will be joining us then. Hello, good morning and welcome to The Breakfast on PLUS TV Africa. I am Maureen Menongwe Zigwe. It is our Technophile edition on Tuesdays. That's what we do with Talk Tech. And today, um, our theme is centered on how technology shows the best of humanity. The great beauty of technology is that it inspires us. It helps us look forward. It reminds us of how far humanity has come and how much potential we can still unlock. It is an example of our creativity and ability to find solutions to problems. We have been to space and to the bottom of the ocean. We have mapped human genome and are learning ways to cure genetic diseases and prevent genetic defects. One day, we will completely cure cancer as easy as taking a pill. Uh, the, the continuing growth of our technology is a reason to be optimistic about humanity's future. No matter how bad our problems are in Nigeria, it is a reminder that they are not unsolvable. Welcome again to Technophile Tuesday on Plus TV Africa. All right, so let's move to our first up trending. Mob beats Lagos policeman unconscious for pushing man into BRT lane. A mob beat a yet-to-be-identified policeman uh, to stoop after a man identified simply as Yusuf was rammed by a BRT vehicle after being allegedly pushed by the policeman in the Ketu area of Lagos State. Eyewitnesses at the scene said that the policeman and his colleagues were attempting to dispossess Yusuf of his vehicle when he got pushed into the BRT lane. A horrible picture you can see on screen there. In the process, one of the BRT buses plying the lane inward Lagos rammed into Yusuf, who collapsed due to the impact of the crush. Look at him lying almost lifeless there. Well, according to an eyewitness, the policeman, after realizing that Yusuf had been crushed by the BRT, attempted to flee the scene, but an angry mob apprehended one of them. Uh, that's when the policemen were trying to leave and thus leading to a beating. Very unpleasant situation unfolded there at the K2 axis of Lagos. You can see the man there in the bus, that's Yusuf, uh, being rushed to the hospital for treatment. Okay, so that's our first top trending. Our second top trending has to do with a mother and a daughter who, are, who will be going to space together. An 18-year-old Aberdeen University student and her mother will travel to space later this week after winning a place on Virgin uh, Galactic's second commercial flight in a prize draw. Anastasia Mears and her mom, Keisha Shahaf, will be the first mother and daughter to go to space. They will also be the first people from the Caribbean to make the journey. The pair will take off from New Mexico on Thursday. Keisha was traveling to the UK to sort out her daughter's visa when she entered the competition. She was on a Virgin Atlantic flight from Antigua to London when suddenly an advert popped up. Anastasia says it was her decision to travel from the Caribbean to study in Scotland that led to the opportunity to go to space. The mission named Galactic O2 is the second commercial space flight conducted by the American space company and the first with paying customers on board. The advertised price for a ride on the rocket plane has been as high as $450,000. 
the Galactic O1 mission took place in June, and it reached an altitude of 279,000 feet. It is thought uh, that the second mission will attempt the same path. Anastasia, who will be the second youngest person to go to space, says she hopes she can use the experience to inspire others. So, so there you have their pictures, very beautiful mother and daughter there. Well, those are top trending. It is The Breakfast and Plus TV Africa. I hope your day is starting out right. We'll take a break and come back for Off the Press. Stay with us. You want to know what are those stories that made it to the front pages this morning?